In other health-related news, President Barack Obama recently announced that more than $500 million will be refunded throughout the nation from health care costs. Fox 31's Colby Gallagher connects you to the story and if you could receive one of those rebates. 8.5 million Americans may be eligible for a health care rebate check thanks to a guideline under the Affordable Care Act. The average family will see a rebate of $100, but in this day and age, is that really that much? I went around and spoke to some Southwest Georgians and asked them, what would you do with the extra cash? My groceries and gas, most definitely. That would be uh, actually a, something I think that I could really, really use right now. I would put it towards my education, such as uh, use it for school. Uh, to better myself. With an extra hundred dollars, I would just put it in my mom's car, the gas in my mom's car, and fifty dollars. It'll probably just help me with food or something. The rebates will be issued as part of the medical loss ratio or 80-20 rule that requires insurance companies to spend at least 80 percent of health care premiums on medical care or give the money back if they don't. In the state of Georgia, more than 15 million dollars will be refunded with the average family receiving around 80 dollars. Believe it or not, that this, well, this is coming to what's going on right now. An extra hundred dollars would really make make a difference in whether you someone eats, someone can pay their light bill or uh, school clothes. However, not everyone will see a direct check for the money spent on hospitalizations, doctors' visits, and more. Those who fall under a group policy, like nearly half of the roughly 250,000 residents affected in Georgia, will see the refund go towards their employer, who can then decide if they'll distribute it, use it to make next year's premiums lower, or offer more benefits in the future. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.